Hey Menifee, Gabriella Ventura here. Did you know that Menifee is nearly 10 years old? I know that sounds young, but our beautiful city is built on a foundation of history dating back to thousands of years ago. As a lifetime resident, I'm a little sad that I don't know all the history about Menifee, but that's why I thought it would be cool to share some insight with you. So today I'm gonna give you guys an exclusive tour of the Menifee Museum, as well as show you some monuments around the town. So uh, let's go. Our first stop is going to be the Menifee Museum. And for those of you guys that have not been just like myself, um, it is located off of Garbani Road, just right past Menifee Middle. And at the museum, we are going to meet with Bill Zimmerman, who is the vice president of the Menifee Valley Historical Association. So he knows all about the history of uh, Menifee. So we're gonna be in good hands. Stay tuned. Well, hello, welcome to the Menifee History Museum. Come on in. So here at the museum, we've created some family boards. Uh, they're displays that highlight some of our earliest pioneers. And some of the names are recognizable to the people who live here because our streets and our schools have been named in their honor. All right, so we're on our way to see a couple monuments around the town. Which two are we gonna go check out? Well, I think it'd be neat to see the 1890 school, which is right on the corner of Bradley and Newport Road. There's an okay. A&PM there now. And then we'll also go over to William Newport's ranches, which is where Lazy Creek Park is today. Cool, all right. This is the monument right in front of what was the 1890 Menifee School. And if you use a little imagination, you might be able to envision it here. And nowadays, this is the modern time McDonald's and AMPM. So now we're coming up on William Newport's ranch. We're on Newport Road right here, and this is Evans Road where Kay Cenicero Center is. And this is where his driveway would have been. So Newport Road right here would have been a dirt road, and then his driveway begins here. So Williams Ranch actually consisted of 2,000 acres, but where we are standing right now here at Lazy Creek Park was where his house was and the bunkers for the ranch hands. It's a bummer we only had time to show two of the 12 monuments, but that's why I put up this map so you could find the rest. Also head over to menifeehistory.com for more information on the monuments and to schedule your tour of the museum today. What did you all think of Menifee's history? As we approach an exciting milestone, I can't help but be anxious to see where Menifee will be in yet another 10 years. The best attribute our city holds, in my opinion, is that we're still able to reflect on our deep roots and past while embracing the future for growth and development. We will never outgrow that small town charm. Thank you guys so much for watching Menifee Minute. Stay tuned to see where I'll be next.